Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to the next episode, uh, movie review for the Steven Seagal Marathon. Why am I, why, it always what sound, why I'm sound like I'm down, well I am, because I just got through watching another shitty uh, Steven Seagal film. What else is new? Hmm. And this is another, such a useless, uh, another useless Steven Seagal film. And the thing is, a funny thing is, way was even more pathetic that this, this is a sequel. So, this, this is from 2005, and it's called Black Dawn. And this is a sequel to The Foreigner. Which, I know there's another piece of, the first the series of, started the direct video series onwards. The Foreigner, yeah, that piece of work, yeah, isn't that, isn't that real nice? Wow, how The Foreigner got a sequel to this... This was a sequel to Foreigner. I have no idea, and this is why you should call Black Dawn. Black Dawn, you should be called Black Yawn because I am yawning and it's, it's putting me to freaking sleep. Yeah, so sequel to Foreigner. Yeah, so which means he's come back to plays that character named Cold. Yeah, so yeah, Cold once again. He is still. He's yeah. The he, remember the Foreigner, how he got all those innocent people killed in the train station. Yeah. He is still cold. And the funny thing is, this cover here, where you have these two guys fighting, that's not a movie. I don't know why they put this on the cover. Or even this, where he's had these two guys, are, that's not in the movie either. They're just trying to promote him and think as this, as, as this big star, but he's not. Because like I said before about Steven Seagal, Yes, yeah, so I don't know why I would keep repeating myself because I'm just keeping the same th same thing over and over again. But the thing is, like I said, I don't res I don't respect the guy anymore. I think he is is such an egotistical. His head is so far up his ass. His fat ass, I say. Like I say he thinks he's better than everybody. Especially he thinks he's better than Van Dam. I'm sorry. And right now, with nowadays, Van Dam can still be the shit. Can kick the shit out of Seagal. And and uh, and I'm trying to, now. Forgive me. I'm just trying to remember what this whole this whole plot of this movie is because because like I said, this was such a useless movie. I can't remember what the plot was. I know it, had, it was deal it was dealing with it was dealing with the nuclear bomb. Like some bad guys who got these diamonds, and they want to use it to buy this uh, nuclear bomb. And Steven Seagal, of course, is that like in many of these movies, he's a CIA. Well, it's like how he was in the Foreigner, but now he's this time he's ex CIA. And nobody knows that. I know I know was in this. I mean. And this one is, is directed by a guy named Alexander Gru Grusensky. This guy's a cinematographer. When I looked at the credits, I was like, you gotta be freaking kidding me. He did credits, cinematography-wise. He had, I guess he had a work at hand in Tremors. I'm like, really? Tremors? This guy directed this piece of shit. This cheap Seagal movie. He was he helped do help do cinematography on Tremors. Come on. As you know, you know how much I love Tremors. It's an all time classic, personal favorite. This film, let alone any single directed video movies, can't touch Tremors with a ten foot pole. Give me a freaking break. But. But yeah, but really, the guy who did help did some guitar for Tremors right here, this? Jeez. And. What, what happens? I guess he wasn't CIA, but I guess now he's not. I'm trying I'm try to remember. Please, I'm trying to remember what, what, what this one is. Like, this the film. This film was leaving my brain as soon as I, I, was, as soon as I was finished watching it. But it was de it was de but it was dealing with a nuclear bomb, and I 
I know one point where a bad guy, which remember how I demonstrated how his name was Cole, and how he got how he got all his pe- all his is pe- is people killed in the train station, in the foreigner. Well, this guy demonstrates how he's still. This guy is still a cold-hearted bastard, you know, cold. He's still cold-hearted. Or after he killed this one guy, um, to get the, to get this vehicle, Steven Seagal, which by the way. He doesn't do any fights in this movie. That's another thing, like, like you mentioned. Like how it was in his previous films. This guy, did, first of all, he doesn't do no fighting at all. Because throughout this whole movie, it's only his stunt double that does all the fights for him in this movie. That's another thing. All he does, all, all, his, all of his stunt, his stunt double does all the fights in this movie. And of course, you can tell, and so blatantly obvious, it's not Steven Seagal. There are times it's like I see like there's like a change in hairstyle, and when it's a blink and you miss it, you see is the guy's the guy's face is not Seagal. I'm like, damn man. <sighs> Jeez, I mean, I think there's a point where a guy walks was it was he walking through stairs? I forget, and I'm like, who is this guy? Oh, that's supposed to be Steven Seagal's character. I'm like, that's him? Because it's obviously stunt double, that's why. I'm like, jeez. I'm like, I was, I was thinking this might be a new character, but no, it's actually Steven Seagal's character. But the thing is, the guy is obviously not Steven Seagal. And the thing is, all the pro- another problem is that this is, supposed to be, this is supposed to be like a 30-day shooting, right? A 30-day movie to shoot. Steven Seagal, he left like 18 days of the of of shooting. Yeah, so he was like missing. He was like missing in action for like over two weeks. I'm like, if he is, if he if he if if he didn't show for like eighteen days of those shootings, it was a show like for like how the rest of it. He just doesn't give a shit nowadays. Why bother making a movie that you're not really not, you're you have no passion about? You're just going through the motions, like you, like I said, you have no life in you, and yet you're still still freaking whispering. You know, I'm sorry. Give me one second here. Sorry about that. My nose is running, so I had to go blow my nose really quick. Sure, no, no, you didn't want to see that, so. And plus, I also want to get get myself a snack too. So, so if you excuse me, yeah, cookie, cookie right here. But yeah, as I was saying, it shows what the why is to go like he isn't like I said. He's just going through the motions, you know. For, just a, for the paycheck. You know, he leaves 18 days of the shooting. Just like all the problems he has for, for, with problems with everybody in the past, in the past, especially you know, with the problems with, with, um, with Submerge and just... Steven, Steven, if you're, if, if you were, if you were just going to the motions, why are you bothering doing this? If you're not, if you're not passionate at all, just quit acting altogether. But yeah, and so. Oh, by the way, remember I mentioned about mentioned about the 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 McDonald's thing. When he there's a guy, a guy he breaks out of prison for right. Um. It it, 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 it just it just further shows you know. Is this she's just is just just not not I'm not Karen. Where he's he, he busts this guy out of prison, and he's just, the guy and the guy's is waking up and they're sitting in the car, and it's right here. You can clearly see this is the what we're seeing right there where he, there's a freaking McDonald's fries carton right there on the dashboard. Like I said, I'm not, I, I said I was not making this up, you know. Yeah. 
right there, freaking McDonald's sitting right there on the dashboard, right in front of him. That's probably maybe that's maybe that's why he was le he left 18 days. Probably he's, like I said, he was too busy stuffing his face with freaking McDonald's and other stuff, you know, freaking Big Macs and more fries, you know. I know he loves her, he loves her, his freaking McDonald's. Why can I, why can I, and I always keep being a dead horse, why can I make fun of that? Because he doesn't give a shit about, he doesn't care about anybody. So why should I care about him now? And like I said, I care, I cared about him during, during the time of his golden age. You know, like I said, I keep on mentioning from above, from above the law all the way up till... A fire down below, and exit wounds as well. But the thing is, though, like I said, he his, his head is so far, but I think he's so freaking better than everybody. You know, treats a lot of people like cr shit. You know, so why should I care? You know, if he wants to continue stuffing his face with McDonald's, that's his business. But the thing is, though, just I just that's why I lost respect for all. I lost all respect for him. You know, years years ago. And just as further just kills me, you know, it's like, yeah, it just makes perfect sense because, but that's why, because he just, he, he enjoys loving his McDonald's so much. I said, was I making it up when I said that where there was a scene where this freaking McDonald's cart, fry cart on the, in one of his movies, and this is one of, this is, and this is, this is it, you know? Now, I, I showed you that. <sighs> Jesus Christ, man. Like, this is why Steven Seagal, like, he is, he is de definitely the worst actor action star for all these directed video films. Like I said, Van Damme, Dolph Lundgren, Michael Jaw White, it's, um, what was it, Scott, At Scott Atkins, I mentioned, I mentioned Gary Daniels because he was in, he was in Submerged. He's done some stuff that he's done better with as well. But Steven Seagal, he's just, though, he's the, the, by far the worst. There's no one who can do any worse when it comes to these shitty directed video movies. You know what? What am I talking? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm almost ten minutes. What, what plot am I talking about? The, like I said, I completely forgot most of this plot because all it was dealing with is nuclear bomb. That was pretty much about it. I mean, and the and what fights? The, what uh, what fights? I mean, this guy should not be on here. It's, it should be Steven Seagal's stunt doubles. Should be have the name and the picture on this cover because they do all the fights in this movie, not Seagal. And the acting is not that good either. Um, all I know is that, all I, or for I remember, it was towards like the third act, or was it like toward, even half? If it was like halfway, it was supposed to be like the main bad guy who gets killed. I'm like, really? And then with the third act, with the with the nuclear bomb, they take the bomb on a chopper. I think it was a chopper, was it? And all they just do is just, just, when you do it with a, with a nuclear bomb, you just drop it in the ocean, like near the city. <laughs> unless they, unless they, unless the idea that was taken years ahead of time from, you know, from, well, from Dark Knight Rises where Batman takes the whole bomb away. He doesn't drop it in the ocean though, but it takes it far away out to sea though for it to explode, but still. But... You just take a, with which is a nuclear in this in this reality. You just take a nuke weapon, just drop it, boom. And you see like the girl it seems to go in the helicopter, like they're, you know, they're shaking a little bit when it explodes, but they're perfectly fine. Oh, like and like I mentioned, like I said, the guy who's his name is Cold once again from from the foreigner. It shows that this guy Cold is a cold-hearted bastard because when he kills a bad guy from it takes and it's when. We wanted to get in order to get this vehicle, this truck. I think. Steven Seagal, well, actually, because it was actually an innocent guy, really enough. Basically, in it, basically, Steven Seagal got this innocent guy killed, basically, and when he's dead, Steven Seagal just goes and takes his dead body and just throws it on top of a car and onto the windshield. I'm like, this guy, he got a, he got a, he got a whole bunch of innocent people killed, and basically, he got this innocent guy killed, and now I care in the world. You just take his body, you just like throws it. Out of the vehicle, lands right on top of the windshield of another car. I'm like, you cold-hearted bastard. That's that's why your name is Jonathan Cold. Your co your last name is best suited because you are such a cold heartless bastard. You're more the villain, like like I said in the, the previous movie. You're more the villain, and we got innocent people killed. You know, thank. But only in this case, you're still a cold-hearted bastard. 
And that was an innocent man, not a bad guy. So, but all that, you know, just like I said, with TUT, take New York bomb, he's dropping the ocean and everything's okay. It's that easy. But yeah, I mean, just Black Dawn, <laughs> you know, Black Yawn, because it makes, it makes me yawn, it makes me, it's putting me to freaking sleep. I mean, what else more can I say? Like this, this was such a, this was such a useless movie. Oh, well, they do an action scene. Oh, oh, they at least they didn't steal no footage from other uh from other action films like um Top of the World. Oh, great! So you get you get here. Here's a cookie. You know, you get a cookie. You get a cookie for not taking any footage from any movies for this movie. Thank God. Woo. I mean, this guy who was a cinematographer, the director of this film, he was a cinematographer. He did like stuff for Tremors. I'm like, come on. I'm supposed to buy this guy. Helped do a cinematography for Tremors. He goes and do this shit. Like I say, this this film or any of Seagal's shitty directed video movies can't touch Tremors with a ten foot pole. Like I said, Tremors all time classic. Beats the shit of any one of these Steven Seagal movies, hands down. It's like I said, I did apologize in advance because I don't remember much of the plot because it was so just forgettable. That's what it is. This film, it was freaking forgettable. Like, a lot of these shitty movies are forgettable. Steven Skull, as I said, show once again, like I said, I'm telling you. Yeah. Maybe that's like I said, maybe that's why, you know, it's just he loves his freaking McDonald's so much because yeah, it's right there plain as day on the dashboard. And it's you know, order himself a large fries and it's probably just another a couple, couple big Macs while you're at it. <sighs> I don't wanna go any further on this because like I said, I don't much remember much about this because like it was that it was that forgettable and I was it was putting me to freaking sleep. It was that boring. I'm like I'm sitting here watching. Um, that's not Seagal. That's an obvious, obvious stunt double. That's not really him. That's another stunt double doing him. Like Steven Seagal, he he didn't absolutely no fights of his own in this movie. It was just Seagal. Like I said, obviously not him. Different hairstyle. Obviously, you can see the, the stunt double's face at times. I was like, like I said, if if he if he doesn't care anymore, then stop doing these movies. Ugh. Sorry about that, but that's my body. My body is speaking for itself regarding about how shitty these movies are. But yeah, wait. Well, like, but like I said, excuse me for that though. But hey, sometimes you. It, sometimes this film speaks for itself. That's why it was my body was letting out because give my, give its own share its opinion. Black Dawn. Yeah, I rather watch. Like I said Red Dawn. I rather watch. Because that's a cl that's, that's a classic, you know, Red Dawn with Patrick Swayze, Charlie Sheen. So, like I said, it's like nuclear bomb. I mean, why did this film get a why did this film uh, the foreigner get a sequel? Why I have absolutely no idea. I'm just that dumbfounded. I mean, this this whole this whole series of films is good at making me dumbfounded. Very very good at making me dumbfounded. You know, every single time. I mean, just like, it's just so sad, you know, and because, you know, it was just going, you know, when I watch, I keep on, I keep, like, like, like I said, I keep on saying, from watching his golden films, right, from, like, from Above the Law to Hard to Kill, Out for Justice, Under Siege, Mark for Death, you know, whether well, films like those when he had energy and charisma, showing emotion, giving a shit. Although, granted, you know, probably even back then he was still, he had this big ego about him. 
but still, from all the way up to the fire down below and even eggs of wounds, I liked. Pierre, he's an emotionless, emotional, lifeless person, going through the motions, whispering all the time now. Can't even, can't even do his own stunt, his own fights anymore. It has to be his obvious, his obvious stunt doubles. Like I said, they should be given credit on this film. Not he should not be on there since they're doing all the fighting. Yeah, but yeah, Black Dawn, Black Yawn puts me to freaking to sleep, you know. Like I said, I do apologize because I guess what you go watch this for yourself. You tell me what the what you remember about this movie. All I know is the main objective of the bad guys was the nuclear bomb. Which if you have a nuclear bomb, drop in the ocean, everything will be A OK Peachy. And the film, Black Dawn, sponsored by McDonald's. Like I said. Sponsored by McDonald's. Steve, that's why it's right there, because Steven Seagal, he likes his McDonald's. You know. At least, you know, I, uh, well, I like McDonald's. I mean, to me, that's, to me, you know, even this, having a, a McDonald's in this, in this movie, I think this, and this is an insult to freaking McDonald's, because I like McDonald's. I like their Big Macs and their fries and stuff, you know. Like, I like their nuggets. I've, I've eaten McDonald's all my life. Not every single day, but you know what I mean. Growing up for everything else, you know. To me, like this is a this is offensive to McDonald's, like just for being for sponsoring it. I know it's not, I know they're not sponsoring it, but still, I've been showing a product of McDonald's that's even offensive to McDonald's itself. Steven Seagal just needs to get his head out of his ass and stop, you know, freaking fat fuck he is. I'm sorry, I'm going to make fun of it because hey, if he doesn't give if he doesn't give a shit, why should I give a shit? You know, like I said, I've lost respect for him for all these years. He's too busy stuck in his face full of McDonald's, you know, and just thinking he still thinks better than everybody else. Take a bite at that humble humble pie of yours, Seagal. Guess he wants because he wants to have his cake and eat it too. Yeah, see, I can make those jokes, you know. But yeah, uh, this is what I think. But it's just like. Another shitty one. Now they say if you leave if you leave for like more than half of the shooting days, why do you should give a shit, you know? Just quit acting altogether and just stop making these movies. But yeah, but that's that's red I was gonna say red dawn. Black Dawn. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for the next Seagull movie review and we'll see you next time. Later.